Hello and welcome. Today, we're diving into the fascinating story of an extraordinary figure from World War I, Paul Emil von Leto Vorbeck. He was a German military officer who was noted for his remarkable command in German East Africa, his innovative guerrilla warfare tactics, and his treatment of his African troops. In the midst of war and political upheaval, Leto Vorbeck carved out a unique place in the annals of military history. So let's get started and explore the life and achievements of this intriguing personality. Paul Enmol von Leto Vorbeck, 1870-1964, was a German military officer and colonial administrator renowned for his exceptional command during World War I. Born on March 20, 1870, in Sarlowis, Germany, Leto Vorbeck came from a noble Prussian family with a long military tradition. Leto Vorbeck joined the German army at a young age, advancing rapidly through the ranks due to his tactical acumen and leadership skills. He first saw combat in the Boxer Rebellion, 1900, in China and then in German Southwest Africa during the Herero Uprising, 1904-1907, where he developed effective counter-insurgency tactics. However, Leto Vorbeck's most remarkable achievement came during World War I as commander of the Stutztruppe Protective Force in German East Africa, now Tanzania, Rwanda, and Burundi. When war broke out in 1914, Leto Vorbeck, against overwhelming odds, successfully defended the colony against British, Belgian, and Portuguese forces. His strategy was not to hold territory, but to inflict maximum damage on enemy forces, disrupting their strategies and consuming their resources. His guerrilla warfare tactics, mobile operations, and use of the challenging terrain kept his forces effective and elusive. His small force, primarily composed of African Askari soldiers, remained undefeated in the field throughout the war. The campaign lasted until after the armistice in Europe, making Leto Vorbeck's forces the last German unit to lay down arms on November 25, 1918. Leto Vorbeck's tactics influenced future counterinsurgency and guerrilla warfare theory, and his respect for his African troops was notable. He was known for treating his Askari soldiers well, a factor that contributed to their loyalty and effectiveness. Following the war, he returned to Germany where he dabbled in politics. He served in the Reichstag from 1928 to 1930 as a representative of the conservative German National People's Party, but opposed the emerging National Socialist Party, Nazi Party. Despite suffering from poverty in post-war Germany, Leto Vorbeck maintained his integrity and independence. Famously, he rejected an ambassadorship offer from Adolf Hitler reportedly telling him to go to hell. He lived out his remaining years in relative obscurity, passing away on March 9, 1964. Paul von Leto Vorbeck remains a complex and remarkable figure, renowned for his military skill, leadership, and the respect he demonstrated towards his African soldiers. Despite the controversies inherent in his colonial service, his tactical genius and indomitable spirit have assured him a unique place in the annals of military history. And that concludes our deep dive into the life and legacy of Paul von Leto Vorbeck. A figure of complexity and controversy, his military genius and unique approach to leadership have left an indelible mark on history. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and share it with your friends. For more such interesting insights into historical figures, do subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you in our next video.